Hello everybody and welcome to a Hammerwatch Editor tutorial. This, will be, this tutorial will be covering the basics of Hammerwatch editing and let's get started. So file new and we want to look at our tile maps. So first off we need flooring for our map. These tile maps are based off of theme. A is the first theme, B is the second theme, C, D, and bonus. Those are all the themes from the game. A is the first dungeon you walk into, B, C, D are the second, third, and fourth. Um, we're just going to be working with the first basic dungeon, and so let's stick to the A-theme tile map and do deads. So let's place down some A-theme tile map. Alright, so here's our first problem. All we've done is place down a bunch of black squares. Now we don't want black squares, we want the actual tile map. The reason we can't see this is because our lighting is actually turned um, way too low. And to fix this, we click on the lighting tab, ambient light, and turn that up. So now, for editing purposes, this is a lot nicer, because we can actually see what we're doing. But for game purposes, you might want to turn that back down, because while you're in-game, it gives you the dark, mood, gloomy um, dungeon theme. And so, I suggest, when testing your map, turn the ambient light back down. But for now, we just want to do this. And that's basically everything there is to do with tile maps. You got some brush settings, but those are pretty straightforward and simple. And these are all the tiles. Now, oh, left click is to place, right click is to delete. Yes. Now, doodads. These are also categorized by theme. We have unmarked themes, which these ones lie under no category. They can be placed in generally any dungeon. And then once we get about one third the way down, we run to the A theme. Continuing, we go to the B theme, C theme, D theme. And bonus is right here with the B theme. So we're going to stick with the A theme. And let's put some walls down to make our first room. Alright, so this is the A-C-R-N-L-D-N. So this stands for A for the first theme, corner left downmost tile. So if we go into the left downmost, we can place this tile, and this is actually a wall of the left downmost corner piece. Let's get a corner for our left upmost, a corner for our right downmost, and a corner for our right upmost. Now we got our four corners of our um, first room, let's get the walls in there. So we're going to keep looking down. Floor signs, we don't need those. Oh, H. This is a horizontal, and it's 16 is the length. We also have an 8 piece, which is half the size, but we don't want that. We want the longer pieces. So let's continue making our first room. Right-clicking is how you place down objects, and then after they've been placed, left-clicking is how you move them. Although if you just hold down the right mouse button, you can continue to move them as you're placing them for the first time. All right, that's about a good size for our first wall. Now, let's copy these, paste them, so we're not wasting time with individually placing each tile. And now we have all of our horizontals down. So let's get some verticals in there. So let's continue down with H, ledges, we don't want ledges yet, V, that's a vertical, and this is a 16-piece wall. So let's place down those, get a couple of them, get a nice big room. Alright, that'll, that'll do. All right, and copy paste, save some time, unless I deselect it all. All right, that's a good sized room to start off with. Now this room's gonna be nice and dark for the player, except for the light that his character admits, um, once we turn our ambient light back down, of course. Um, so let's light this place up a little bit with some torches. Now I'm not quite sure where the torches are, so I'm just gonna click on the search bar and type in torch. There's an off torch and there's a on torch. Let's place a couple on torches in here. There you go. That looks good. Now the top most part of our room will be lit up by these torches. Um, you can see that better if I throw down the ambient light. Let's put that down really quick. There you go. It's very gloomy and dark, and so if you want your entire dungeon to be lit up by torches, you're probably going to need a lot of them. Um, otherwise, if you're in the lighting tab, you can actually just right click and it places a light object. Um, and then you can edit a light object from right here within the light tab. You can make it brighter, darker, and you can change the colors on it. But we don't need that, because we're just going to have the ambient light up for now. Let's see. Okay, now let's go back to doodads and throw in a couple more things. We've got statues, bosses, exit, ground glass walk, traps. We don't want any of that. That's boring. Ah, never mind. We're good on that. Let's throw in some items. How about because I know items, we got breakable barrels. And these things are seen all the time throughout the campaign. So let's put these in, kind of spaced out. Make them a little more believable. 
crates, kind of like a little storage room. Got vases. Ooh, breakable crate B. These are the different themes. B is the different type of barrel. It looks different. We're just going to stick to the first theme, but this is version 2 of the first theme of the first barrel. Let me zoom in here so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Now we got some barrels. Right now I have collisions shown, basically, or the physics. So I'll click under show and show physics. What it's really showing is it's just showing the physical barriers for the character, what he collides with. Each one of these green square boxes is actually a collision. Um, same with these circles right here for all those. So I can turn those off. Whoops, not resource name. I like that. Show physics. And now those won't be in your way, and so you can actually see what you're doing. So let's go. Whoops. Copy paste. Save some time. All right, we got a nice little room with a bunch of barrels and stuff. Um, I would actually like a table in here. Furniture chair. So let's put some chairs in here. A, B. Oh, we don't want B. We just want version 2 and version 3. There we go. We got the chairs. And now here's our table A. There we go. It's looking like more of a cozy little home. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay, now actually, let's go in and test this thing. So it's looking pretty good. Um, under tools, we can click run game or run game at camera. That's where your screen is currently located. So the center of your screen is where your player is going to spawn. But let's just run the game because I'm pretty sure that he's going to spawn at the zero x y coordinate, and that's close enough to where our level's been made. I'm going to save it on test. Yes, replace. And my game's running in window mode. I had to look up on the internet how to do that, and you just um, copy a config file into the game, into the game's um, information to do that. And here we go. We got a nice little level, and those chairs magically disappeared when I hit them, and these can all be broken, and you can find um, drops from them. All right, it's a cool little dungeon, but not very interesting. Let's put some monsters in there. So we're going to go to characters. And let's throw down some archers. Now, Paladin's good against archers because you can block them, of course. And some bats. And bats, um, all the collisions are auto automatically updated, so they'll push each other out of the way if there's too many in one area. So this looks like a nice, dangerous little room here. Let's click File Save or Control S and Run Game or Control T. So I'm going to do Control S, Control T. It's a lot quicker, and it's a little nice thing to memorize. There we go, we got monsters, we got barrels, our dungeon's getting pretty intense. Alright, but I'm still actually kind of bored with this. Let's throw in some scripts to make things really interesting. Actually, I think I'll save that for the next video. Alright, I hope I gave you a nice little basics on how to, you know, get some walls and basics into your map. Got you moving along the right path, and I'll see you next video.